All right, so let's uh, quickly open the box up. Obviously, you're going to get the stock. Um, you get some instructions as far as uh, mill spec tubes and uh, commercial buffer tubes. And uh, so <coughs> I think you can actually add a, 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 butt, a butt pad on there as well. And so if I find that it's not very comfortable, I'll probably get that extension butt pad um, to add on there. And certainly you get your, <coughs> get your stock. And that's what that looks like. So all the Magpul stuff is uh, very well made. Um, QD point uh, mounting for a sling, or you can go through um, your sling point right there. Cool thing about this is it is provides uh, two mounting mounting plates. <clears throat> um, this one right here actually spaces spaces the uh, <clears throat> the whole system out. I think I have to take the pin out there, but it spaces the whole pin out so that when it's installed, <coughs> it allows you to put a, uh, a mounting plate right here if you have the, the tabs off the sides that have uh, the hooks for a particular sling. You have a little bit more room to uh, connect your sling to that mounting plate um, on the back, your buffer tube mounting plate. This one actually is going to get you much closer, um, much closer to the uh, mounting plate, current mount, mounting plate. I do not have one that has the tabbed ears for a sling, so this will be the one that I'm using. And so let's go through the install process. Of course you get your Magpul sticker and uh, you get instructions as far as um, how to put this thing together. So let's go put it together, see how it looks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screw out here so that the uh, and the end plate will actually slide right in. So I've loosened it up already. Pretty simple. You should be able to uh, know how to <laughs> work with a slide that in there. Work with a uh, screwdriver. If you don't, um, you might want to get some skills in regard to that. So you just put this in there and tighten it up. And right now I am not going to tighten it up all the way just because. Um, it needs to be somewhat loose so that this slides on the uh, buffer tube. Alright, most of your adjustable stocks are going to have a uh, trigger to actuate uh, being able to uh, change the uh, length of pull. Um, I use a punch. This is a 1.6 millimeter punch. <clears throat> and that's important because what I do is I lower the uh, pin down as far as possible and you can see that and I put that through the, uh, the pin just like this and I push down and then I can slide it all the way off hopefully it always gets caught on that last one let me see if I can <clears throat> sometimes I have to switch it pull it to the side and pull all the way out and all the way off and there you go it's off. <clears throat> process, I did take the uh, screw completely or the bolt completely out and I just have it sitting on the uh, buffer tube. All you gotta do is slide that all the way in and you can see that the Magpul adapter plate matches very well with your end plate and your castle nut. And so what we gotta do next is throw in <clears throat> throw in that bolt get your handy dandy huh, this is this is my screwdriver that is my all-purpose screwdriver you can see that I've used it for a punch and a chisel and so right now I'm using it to open paint cans or stain cans and so anyway so use that screwdriver and you're gonna tighten this down all the way I do believe you can probably get an allen wrench in there also I don't know what size that is I'm not gonna worry about it so <clears throat> Let's see what that looks like. Okay, guys, that's it. It's a solid lockup, no movement whatsoever. Nice and tight in there. I'm very impressed with it so far. Um, the butt plate does come off, so you can put the extended buff plate in there, buffer plate, buffing plate, whatever you want to call it. And I'm wondering. <clears throat> If the thicker rubber one from this might actually fit on the end 
of this plate. Now it might not be exactly the same shape, but there is potential that that might fit. So maybe I'll give it a try. Anyway, um, looking through the uh, <clears throat> looking through the objective, it's got perfect sight alignment for where I'm at as far as the line up with the cheek weld on the back of the uh, <clears throat> back of the stock. So I was uh, a little worried about that that the cheek weld and line up through the scope would be different than uh, <clears throat> this one right here, given a, an adjustable stock. But it's perfect so far. As far as my ocular vision and everything through that scope, it's fantastic. So it's going to work well. Uh, next step in this project is uh, the reason why, the other reason I got this scope, or uh, excuse me, stock, is because I'm going to completely uh, paint it. It's going to be uh, a base, base of black with some aged bronze in there, some gray. And this is going to be uh, cryptic coded, as I say, as I stated many times. But the weather has not been good here whatsoever. <clears throat> We're talking like highs in the 50s. Um, optimally, you want to have uh, temperatures in the 65, 70 degree range um, if you're spraying outside. So I'm kind of waiting for the weather to turn around, so I'm actually able to lay down my base coat. So I'll take all the uh, scope and mount off. I'll take the uh, bipod off. And I'll be taking my uh, grip off. Everything else is going to be painted, including, sorry, Warthog, that's going to be painted as well. It's going to be uh, cryptic, uh, cryptic camel. And so I'm excited to get this underway to uh, finally see what this whole project is going to be looking like. And, uh, and I will probably take it out to the range again to uh, do some shooting. Um, I still have yet to get some dies for it so I can reload 22 nozzler, but. Uh, this, as far as uh, platform, this is what it's going to stay as. So I am extremely happy with this so far. I am ready to take down some coyotes, assuming I get the paint job done. It looks pretty good right now, as a matter of fact, with the FDE. Two colors are a little bit different, but uh, no big deal. Um, so I'm ready to uh, start getting this thing abraded, and I can certainly do that this week. Um, I think we're going to only have highs of uh, 55 or 56 degrees, so... I am uh, ready to start the abrasion and take up our process so that I'm ready for paint probably the next couple weeks. So you guys stay tuned. Thanks for hanging with me. If you have any questions about the uh, fixed MOE stock, let me know. Um, Magpul always turns out uh, good stuff. So um, comment, like the channel if, uh, if you have not so far. And I am going to be reviewing some other stuff coming up, some bow-related stuff. You guys may not have known, but I'm a bow hunter as well. So I've got a site coming. I'm going to uh, do a review on that and uh, kind of excited. So stay tuned, guys. Good seeing you. Good talking to you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.